Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford Bronco. Now this particular Bronco is a black diamond model finished in cactus gray. Uh, the black diamond is sort of the value-based off-roader that Ford offers in the Bronco lineup. We'll take a walk around the outside of this Bronco starting here with the front end. We do get these nice standard LED headlights uh, which we do get as a standard feature across the board of the Bronco models. So that is nice to see here. We also get the Bronco logo spelled out right in the middle of the grille there, sort of a heritage feature with the white lettering. With the black diamond, we also do get the uh, powder coated steel bumper. Uh, so that is also a standard feature and it also includes the LED fog lights down there and also these nice tow hooks as well. Uh, but coming around to the side here of the black diamond Bronco, standard are these nice 17 inch steel wheels. So a very sort of rugged, uh, off-road feature here. It is wrapped in an LT265-70 General Grabber all-terrain tire. Uh, so nice off-road aggressive tire there for you. You also have your black diamond badge in there on the side, as well as the black mirrors and the black door handles. This is a dual convex mirror, so we have the sort of blind spot mirror up in the corner. And now the only option this Bronco has is the hard top. Uh, so this is actually the only option this one has. The hard top, this is a base sort of black diamond model. Um, we also do get these nice rock rails down here as well. So also standard are the steel rock rails to help protect the side of the body. Uh, maybe if you're rock crawling or something like that. Uh, so that is nice to see that as well. Looking at the rear end here, we do have the full size spare tire uh, mounted to the back. This is about a 32 inch tire uh, that Ford has for the black diamond models. Again, 265, 70. It also houses the rear camera system right there as well. And we also have a rear tow hook. And stepping inside of this Bronco Black Diamond standard with the Black Diamond model, we do have the marine grade vinyl seats. And paired with the rubber flooring that we also do get with the Black Diamonds is a very rugged, uh, sort of meant to get dirty uh, upholstery material. Uh, so Ford kind of made this sort of the off-road based uh, model. Again, rubber floors, and they also do have the drains here. Uh, so this is actually tr drains uh, one on sort of each passenger. Um, so you can actually wash these floors out and they don't have to worry about obviously pooling water everywhere. Uh, so you have a drain there, it goes right through the floor. Uh, so that is super cool to see. Door panel is kind of the same design here, all heavy duty vinyl material. Again, meant to be sort of sprayed off and washed. Uh, we also have your automatic headlights and also these fog lights right there, electronic parking brake as well. Uh, but if we climb inside of this Bronco, take a look at the key fob. Uh, we do get Ford's intelligent access key fob. Um, but because we do have the manual transmission, which I will talk about in a second here, uh, we would uh, sort of most of the time get a uh, remote start. Um, but again, with the manual, we don't. Uh, but we do get push button start. Now we'll talk about this manual here. So we do have the seven speed manual, uh, which, is, uh, which is actually offered across most Bronco models. Um, now, because we do have the manual, we only get one engine choice, and that is the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. That is a four cylinder, uh, the 2.3 liter EcoBoost four cylinder, um, but it's, you can pair it with the manual. Uh, it's also offered as an automatic, uh, but there's, there is two engine options. Uh, that is the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. That is a V6. Uh, but that one is only offered with the 10-speed automatic. Uh, so if you want the manual, you have to get the smaller uh, engine choice, unfortunately. Uh, but it's nice that we still offer that, uh, the manual transmission. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the Broncos that we do sell are automatics. Um, so we do, there's a pretty rare uh, thing to find is the, is the manual transmission. Um, but besides that, we'll start here on this nice leather wrap steering wheel uh, where we do have your cruise control with your volume buttons there. And then also controls here for the center gauge cluster screen there. And then also some of your phone and track buttons there as well. Now this screen, the screen here is actually really, really nice. Uh, Ford actually incorporates this uh, sort of gauge cluster design as a standard of a design across all Bronco models, excluding the Raptors. The Raptors get a fully digital display, uh, but this is a nice screen here and uh, it includes a lot of good information here. Of course, we do have all of your trip and fuel information right there, uh, but in the off-road setting, we can actually view all of your four wheel drive settings we also have your pitch and roll, tire pressures, as well as the sort of gauge summary. And then scrolling through that, you also have the sort of the individual gauges there. It also has all of your phone, audio, and other various settings in there as well. So very configurable and that great screen there. Uh, here in the middle, we do have Ford's Sync 4 8 inch touchscreen display. Uh, this is actually the only screen option available with the black diamonds. Uh, you can get a larger 12 inch screen that is available in other Bronco models. 
Um, but it's housed all of your audio and phone settings in here. We also do have the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as all your various vehicle settings in here. We have your driver assistance features. Uh, so we do have the pre-collision assist, uh, which is still nice to see, especially with the manual. It's nice to have pre-collision assist and then also hill start assist. Uh, so with the manual, you have the hill start assist feature there, as well as the backup camera. And on top of the screen, we do have what Ford calls the hero switches, uh, which does include the rear locking differential. Uh, so with the black diamonds, we do get the 446 uh, gearing ratio for the rear, di uh, the rear diff. That includes the electronically locking uh, locker right there. Uh, so it is nice to see as a standard feature with the black diamond. Uh, down here, we do have the uh, sort of basic uh, single zone climate control. You can get a dual zone system uh, that is offered with the mid package, uh, which is available with the black diamonds. Um, but down here, we do have the four wheel drive settings. So all Bronco models are four wheel drive, includes four low and four high, as well as the hill descent control right there in the middle. And now we can actually cycle through various GOAT modes, which Ford calls, uh, but it's basically like a drive mode select. Uh, so we have normal, we also have eco, sport, slippery, mud ruts, sand, and rock crawl mode. Uh, so it'll actually automatically change all of the four wheel drive settings, as well as your locking differential and all the other drive systems in the Bronco for those specific GOAT modes or drive modes. Uh, so that is certainly nice to have. Very easy to off-road this Bronco here. Uh, this this is actually pretty cool here. So we have a little like a little plate here, a little plate that Ford puts, and it kind of reminisces the design of the grill design with the sort of the headlights and then the Ford logo that goes across. Designed and engineered in Dearborn, Michigan. Super cool. And uh, we do have the window switches as well as the uh, mirrors, the power mirrors on the sort of center console here because the doors do come off. All four doors do come off and they actually fit in the trunk, which I will show you here in a minute. Uh, but the doors come off. Uh, so Ford tried to take a lot of the switches off the doors and they stuck them right here. And up here we do have the auxiliary switches. Uh, so we do get six auxiliary switches, which is actually standard on the Black Diamonds as well. And again, this is the hard top. Um, it's the non sort of sound deton version. Um, so you can get a sound deton version, but this is just sort of the, the regular hard top. Um, you have all the, all the uh, sort of twist knobs in here uh, to take the top off as well. And looking into the rear seat here of this Bronco Black Diamond. Again, this is the four-door model. Uh, so what that means is we actually do get these standard sort of three seats in the back versus what you would get with a two-door would be two seats in the back. So a two-door a two is a four-seat configuration, whereas the four-doors are a five-seat configuration. Uh, so you do lose that middle seat with the four-door model. So just keep that in mind. If you want your standard five-seat configuration, you do have to get the four-door. Uh, but again, with the Black Diamond, we get these nice marine-grade vinyl seats. Maybe you'd think that they're uncomfortable because it's a vinyl, but these are actually really comfortable seats. So they're super cushiony, just like a regular cloth or even a leather seat. And they do look really, really good and sort of fit the aesthetic of the black diamond Bronco. Um, but again, they include the sort of blue accent stitching there. Down here, we do have some USB connectors as well as your window switches there. Uh, so just like the front, Ford takes them off the doors and puts them right on the back of the center console. Um, but again, your rubber floors do carry all the way back here as well with the additional drains as well. So you get a drain on each side. So again, you can wash these floors out. Uh, so super cool that Ford incorporated that. But if we come around to the trunk area here, we do have the side swing gate, which we can open up. And it has a nice assist uh, strut there on the bottom. So super easy to open up. And then we can just easily flip the hard top a glass up and then we can have access to our cargo area lots and lots of space back here that is a benefit of the four doors that you do get much more space compared uh, to the two door models uh, but we do have the bags up here the storage bags for the front row uh, roof panels and also some carpeted floor mats we also have a 12 volt connector back here as well and as i mentioned the doors do come off and they actually all fit back here uh, you can actually get these storage bags for the doors and they can all fit back here um, so Ford really engineered that specifically uh, so you can fit all the doors back here as well. But unfortunately, this particular Bronco Black Diamond is a sold unit. But if you're interested in getting one just like this, feel free to give us a call or visit McPhee4.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.